Hey, welcome back to Five Lakes Garage. Today we're actually going to go over some electrical stuff uh, because it is Christmas time. It's December and the twins came out here and took it upon themselves with very little help from me of actually putting out all the Christmas lights. Now we actually have all of the old fashioned, they're like 30 some years old, uh, blow up plastic with big old bulbs in it, uh, which luckily we've converted most of them over into LEDs so it does not pull so much credit uh, current oh hello there thanks for watching and if you really like it go ahead and hit subscribe if you really like it go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and comment because I want to hear what you have to say could be good could be bad I don't know let me know and if you really want to send anything to the channel help us out whichever here's a PO box that we opened up in case you want to send something I'll do a video and see what it is have fun, enjoy the rest of the show. Also, we have a uh, train track, and then, and this was Corbin's idea. Uh, so we put, took an elf and put it into a net that is strung up, and the penguins strung them up in the net. Yeah, looks good to me. Anyway, uh, so the biggest thing that uh, we have to be concerned about is that all of these lights do draw a lot of current, and you don't really want to put it on one circuit unless, uh, <clears throat> if it's going to be overloading that circuit now uh, i did get a phone call yesterday from corbin which was awesome because he was concerned that we were putting too much on one line so he wanted to know where he can connect it up for a second line um, but we needed to get some timers and all that type of stuff in there so i told him i said hey i tell you what why don't you keep keep loading up and then uh, we will test it when i get home now this is what kind of what i came up with and it is very simple and you can do it at home just to make sure you're not pulling too much current off of one line so this is basically what i made uh i just had uh, some extra connectors and here and then i took the installation off so i have all three wires so you have the hot the neutral and the ground now what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this on right now we have it for six hours after dusk there we go see they're all on even our lasers now if you just grab yourself a clamp on amp meter turn it on all right so we need amps ac so we have ac amps now, this is very simple now if all this insulation was actually on this wire you won't be able to test it so i'm gonna take my little claw we're gonna put it around the black wire keep going up it's gonna rest right at 8.4 amps <clears throat> now this is actually connected to a 15 amp receptacle it is connected to a 15 amp breaker everything on it is 15 amp including the extension cord that is actually running all the way back to the back and please disregard that section right there i'm getting ready to fix that just don't make things like they used to anyway uh so this is how much current is actually going through the main circuit uh to actually power everything in this front yard now eight and a half amps it's okay it's a little uh it's about half ish uh, if it got up to like 10 amps, then yeah, I would actually put two separate circuits because that's going to just generate heat. So uh, we should be okay with this. Now, this is, just keep in mind that this is uh, 8.7 now, uh, coming off of one receptacle. Now, there's also other receptacles on that circuit. Now, you still could be tripping a breaker, but uh, I have zero clue what else is on that darn circuit because I really want to find the electrician to wire this house and kind of picked the brain on why exactly they did certain things like why does my kitchen have four gfis on it so basically they started their gfi and then they ran it to one bathroom and then they ran it to another one ran it to another one anyway <clears throat> so if something pops out i never know where it's at i gotta go around and search i do need to go through and start pulling breakers and marking all the ones that are on each circuit but I think everything is looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at it later on tonight to find out whether or not how good it looks. Uh, we might actually add some more uh, circuits, maybe some more lights, maybe up the banisters, uh, up on top of the roof or whichever. But let's wait for tonight until we actually do some of that. But anyway, uh, we are still at 8.7 amps. So we're okay. We're within tolerance. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my little thing out and maybe set it up for something else. Very simple. You can do it yourself.
All right, that's another episode of Five Lakes Garage. Real quick, real simple. But always remember, be safe. Amperage will cause heat. Heat causes fire. Don't overload your circuits. Make sure that you have it within the realm. Make yourself a little adapter so you can actually check the amperage of AC current. Kind of helps you out. Anyway, uh, check out all the other stuff. We got more coming. Uh, hopefully one's a little bit longer than this. A little bit more in depth, but this hopefully will help out somebody <clears throat> that uh, may not have uh, realized what's going on. So anyway, enjoy. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you a little bit. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all the other good stuff. Later.